Moog says he's found keys in fluff dung before and always wondered what they'd unlock. Discover the rest and you'll find more keys. There's plenty of poo to go around. Moog says you did good on that last monster. He hopes you have time to help him seek out the next one. It's not too far away. It shouldn't take you as long as the previous one. But that's no reason to waste time. If you keep at the haunt, you'll round them all up in no time. Love the glow of the light. No. Down! Down! Oh. All the way up! Crank that glow up to eleven! I'll make you glow! Too late! Moog appreciates your company. Why Understands you have things to do. Nothing beats the darkness. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now, it's a war zone. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. This is the tribe's last stand. Conquer this fort and that'll be the last of the resistance. The tribe will be under your command. They've scouted this place carefully. There's nothing here you won't be able to handle. 
The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. However, he wants you to secure a hard hat first, should anything go wrong. It's better you go and find one for yourself. It can't be too much trouble, though. It's one size fits all. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending. Let's see. You need to hit them where it hurts. Inflict as much suffering as possible. You're the hammer on their nail. Might need to shade your eyes. Night's over. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light.
That's a pyro sizzler right there. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. This story is about a hero. The wire claw looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate. But you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull and the gate will come down. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Anybody at home? CP? CP? Get a work. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He just needs a logical reason to trust you with the fort and fate of his tribe. If fight is all you do, he can't stand by you. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. You'll decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but he suggests you show no mercy, because you will be shown none. He understands what you're thinking. Where else do you find allies, if not among your enemies? And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. Your help sealed victory and the destiny of the rival tribe. But he's still eager to seal the fate of the world. It's just a matter of time before the tree will fall. It's easier to wage war than to make peace, but it's harder to win a war. But if you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. You've grown so much stronger than when you first met. And now, the tribe relies on your strength to take on the remaining rivals. He meant that everything that has happened to you has only made you stronger. It's the Myriad Boomerang. There's not much left of what we used to call our world.
Dota? Dota. Wonders if you'll ever. Oi, la da hoa. Talks about how it didn't used to be so dark at night. The end of the world means the end of light, too. Without light to guide the way, they keep getting lost out on the goo. Could you restart the Lumen Tower so they can find their way at night again? Can't say for sure since they don't know what broke it. Says to head toward the goo and look up at the sky. Can't miss it. Once you find the Lumen Tower, climb inside and get the light started back up. Easy, right? Can't wait until they can glide the goo by night again. Says they'd all love you for it. Says you'll get a special price and a wrap-up on... Says the place hasn't been doing as much business lately, so there's plenty for you to choose from. Time to buy or sell? Shield your eyes if the daylight hurts you. Asks you to check out the web. Wants you to know you won't find a better deal anywhere else.
Fair trade. That's an improvement. Asks you to check out the wares. Can sense you want to practice your skills at bartering. Time to make a deal. Says you'll get a special price under Points out they just restocked, so you should be able to find something you like here. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. <laughs> 